Lon Chaney Jr., howling at the moon, clawing at his face, a man trapped in a monster's skin. The 1941 The Wolfman etched itself into our nightmares, giving us a monster both terrifying and tragic. The Wolfman became a horror icon. His image endured. Decades passed, the legend remained, a chilling tale of a curse passed down through generations, a man doomed to transform under the silvery glow of the full moon. The story resonated with our deepest fears, the fear of losing control, the fear of the darkness within. The Wolfman's legacy continued to inspire countless films, books, and comics that borrowed from its themes. The werewolf, a creature of myth and legend, found its cinematic archetype in the 1941 classic. The film's impact is undeniable. It set the standard for werewolf lore in popular culture. Now, in 2024, a new beast rises, a reimagining of the classic tale, a chance to explore the darkness once again. But can it live up to the legacy of its predecessor? Can it capture the same primal fear? Only time will tell. The night is young and the moon is full. The 2024. The Wolfman embraces the gothic horror of the original, it's a world of shadows and whispers, a world where ancient curses linger in the fog-laden air. But it also expands on the mythos, delving deeper into the psychological torment of the curse. The setting shifts from the familiar moors of England to the rugged mountains of the American West. This change injects a new flavor into the narrative. The untamed wilderness becomes a character itself, a reflection of the untamed beast within. The film introduces fresh twists on the curse. The transformation is more visceral, more agonizing. The wolf's influence seeps into the man's psyche even before the full moon rises. This creates a constant tension, a sense of impending doom that hangs over every scene. This reboot isn't just a retelling, it's a reimagining, a chance to explore the themes of the original with a modern sensibility. It's a dark and brutal journey into the heart of the beast. The father-son dynamic is central to both films. However, the 2024 version explores this relationship with more depth and complexity. The bond between father and son is strained, fraught with unspoken resentment and past grievances. In the original, the relationship between Larry Talbot and Sir John Talbot was one of respect and duty. But in the reboot, the connection is raw, fueled by a shared trauma and the heavy weight of the curse. This creates a more volatile and unpredictable dynamic, adding another layer of tension to the narrative. The film hints at a shared history of violence and abuse, further complicating their relationship. The curse becomes a metaphor for the inherited burdens of family and the sins of the father. This exploration of intergenerational trauma adds a layer of psychological horror to the traditional monster movie tropes. The strained relationship between father and son intensifies the horror. It's a reminder that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are not the ones we see in the shadows, but the ones we are bound to by blood. The transformation sequence in the 1941 film was groundbreaking for its time. It showed the agonizing shift from man to beast with practical effects that both fascinated and horrified audiences. The 2024 reboot takes this transformation to a whole new level. Modern special effects allow for a more visceral and disturbing depiction of the change. Bones crack and twist, flesh contorts, and the primal savagery of the wolf erupts with terrifying realism. The transformation isn't just physical, it's a psychological descent into madness. The reboot explores the idea that the wolf's influence seeps into the man's mind even before the full moon. We see the character struggle with heightened senses, animalistic urges, and flashes of uncontrollable rage. This creates a constant state of dread, as the line between man and beast becomes increasingly blurred. The curse is no longer just a physical affliction, it's a spiritual and mental corruption that twists the soul. The transformation becomes a metaphor for the dark potential that lurks within us all, waiting for the right moment to break free. Section 5. The Savage Countryside, A Shift in Setting the 1941 film was steeped in the atmospheric moors of England. The fog-shrouded landscape created a sense of mystery and isolation, perfect for a tale of gothic horror. The 2024 reboot transports the story to the rugged mountains of the American West. This shift in setting brings a new flavor to the narrative. The vast, untamed wilderness mirrors the wildness of the beast within. 
The towering pines, the shadowy canyons, and the lonely howl of the wind create a palpable sense of dread. This is a landscape where secrets are buried deep and the darkness can consume you whole. The American West, with its history of frontier violence and the struggle between man and nature, provides a fitting backdrop for a tale of primal savagery. The setting itself becomes a character, adding to the film's sense of isolation and relentless pursuit. This change in setting isn't just about aesthetics, it's about tapping into a different kind of fear. A fear rooted in the untamed wilderness, where survival is a constant struggle, and the line between civilization and savagery is razor thin. Section 6. Faces of Fear Casting a New Light on Familiar Roles the 1941 film featured iconic performances by Lon Chaney Jr. as the tormented Larry Talbot and Claude Rains as his stern father, Sir John Talbot. The 2024 reboot brings a new cast to these familiar roles, each actor leaving their mark on the characters. The casting choices reflect a conscious effort to deviate from the original while still honoring its essence. The actors bring their own interpretations to the roles, adding layers of complexity and nuance to the characters' motivations and relationships. The performances are raw, intense, and emotionally charged. Each actor embodies the fear, the desperation, and the internal struggle of a man grappling with a monstrous curse. The casting is a key element in the reboot's success. The actors don't simply imitate the performances of the past. They create something new, breathing fresh life into these iconic characters. Section 7. Echoes of the Past. Homages and Departures. The 2024. The Wolfman pays homage to its 1941 predecessor in subtle ways. Certain scenes and lines of dialogue echo the original, creating a sense of familiarity for those who know the classic film. However, the reboot isn't afraid to depart from the source material. It introduces new characters, plot twists, and thematic elements that expand the mythology and offer a fresh perspective on the curse. The film strikes a balance between honoring the past and forging its own path. It's a delicate act but the filmmakers managed to create a film that feels both familiar and surprising. The result is a respectful nod to the original The Wolfman while simultaneously establishing a unique identity for the reboot. It's a testament to the enduring power of the source material and the creative potential of reimagining a classic. The Burden of the Beast, exploring themes of guilt and redemption. The 1941 film touched on themes of guilt and redemption, but the 2024 reboot delves deeper into these concepts. The characters are haunted by past mistakes, and the curse becomes a physical manifestation of their inner turmoil. The film explores the idea that we are all capable of darkness, and that our actions have consequences that extend far beyond ourselves. The characters are forced to confront their own inner demons and seek redemption for the sins they have committed. The curse becomes a symbol of the weight of guilt and the struggle for forgiveness. It's a reminder that the past can never truly be buried and that our choices have the power to shape our destinies. The reboot's exploration of these themes adds a layer of psychological depth to the horror. It's a story about confronting our inner darkness and seeking redemption in a world where forgiveness is hard won. A Symphony of Terror, Elevating the Horror Experience the 2024. The Wolfman utilizes sound and music to heighten the horror. The soundtrack is a blend of orchestral swells, eerie sound design, and unsettling silences that build tension and keep the audience on edge. The film's score is a character in itself, reflecting the inner turmoil of the characters and the growing threat of the curse. The music crescendos during moments of transformation and violence, amplifying the horror and creating a visceral experience for the viewer. Sound design plays a crucial role in creating an immersive and unsettling atmosphere. The howls of the wolf, the cracking of bones during transformation, and the eerie whispers of the wind all contribute to a sense of dread and impending doom. The combination of music and sound design elevates the horror beyond jump scares and visual effects. It creates a truly terrifying experience that lingers in the mind long after the credits roll. Critical Howl's Reception and Impact, The 2024 The Wolfman has garnered a mixed reception from critics and audiences alike. Some praise its dark, brooding atmosphere, 
its exploration of complex themes, and its fresh take on the classic monster. Others criticize it for straying too far from the source material, for its graphic violence, and for its bleak tone. The film has sparked debate about the balance between honoring a classic and creating something new. Regardless of critical reception, the reboot has undoubtedly made its mark on the horror genre. It's a film that provokes discussion, challenges expectations, and reminds us that even the most familiar monsters can still surprise us. The impact of the reboot will continue to unfold as more viewers experience its unique brand of horror. Only time will tell if it will achieve the same lasting legacy as its 1941 predecessor. A Legacy Reshaped the Wolfman's Enduring Bite. The 2024. The Wolfman stands as both a tribute to the legacy of the 1941 classic and a bold reimagining of the werewolf myth. It's a film that embraces the darkness, the primal fear, and the enduring power of a story that has captivated audiences for generations. The reboot may not surpass the iconic status of the original, but it carves its own path in horror cinema. It's a reminder that some stories never truly die, they transform, evolve, and continue to haunt us in new and unexpected ways. The Wolfman's howl echoes through the decades, a testament to the enduring power of horror. The 2024 film adds another layer to this legacy, proving that even the most familiar monsters can still find new ways to sink their teeth into our nightmares. The curse continues, the moon is full, and the beast within is waiting to be unleashed. 